once a common sight. Vast herds of motorcycles could be seen rambling all over the British Isles. But since the 1960s, with the destruction of their habitat, we have seen their numbers plummet. Today, only a few small groups can be seen, grazing on the tarmacadam, the cobbled streets and the concrete of deepest, darkest East Yorkshire. It is here that a wonderful discovery has been made. Like so many motorcycle accessories, Dependent on the abundance of motorcycles for their existence, the family of Monza Capicus, otherwise known as the Monza Fuel Cap, has also seen a worrying decline. Monza Capicus Brassica, otherwise known as the Golden Crested Monza Cap, not having been seen in the wild since the 1970s, was thought to have been extinct. Not to be mistaken for Monza Capicus Falsicatus, commonly known as the false Monza fuel cap. The golden crested Monza is an exotic species and here today we have captured it on film for the very first time. As little as 10 specimens are thought to currently exist. Their symbiotic relationship with motorcycles is a unique one, selecting and attaching to only alpha males, the leader of the pack. Selecting only the strongest, fittest motorcycle ensures the best vantage point from which to attract a mate. And here we see this specimen displaying its mantle, a courtship ritual never before seen, in a vain attempt to attract a female. I've got absolutely no idea where I was going with that. I think it's about three years since I first fitted one of Moton's Monza fuel caps to one of my bikes, I think it was the T120, and since then they've brought out several different versions, but there's always been one thing missing. A version that people have been screaming out for, a solid brass version, and I know that for the last two years at least, Motone have been working very hard to produce one. I showed you one of the first prototypes, I think just over a year ago. Now, Motone are the market leaders in high pressure die cast aluminium parts, but you can't high pressure die cast brass. Now, I'm no expert on casting metals, but from what I can gather, the only way to produce something like this by casting it is to use old school sand casting methods, something that Moton isn't geared up to do. It's not that they can't do it, the workshop just isn't geared up for the facilities of this kind of production. So they decided not to go ahead with a brass version and just stick with the familiar alloy versions. But the requests for these brass caps kept coming in. And Sam at Moton finally relented and decided to do a very limited run batch of these caps just to satisfy the demand from people that have been asking and I think in my own clumsy way that's what I was trying to get over with that introduction at the beginning of the video these things are like hen's teeth there are only 10 of them and I have one now as far as I was concerned Moton were not going ahead with these caps and it was a bit of a surprise to me when Sam very suddenly sent me one out a couple of days ago. And I was so excited by its arrival, to be quite honest, I just put everything else on a back burner to get this video up for today. So I've got no idea what type of brass has been used. All I can say is that it is of uber high quality. It really has blown me away. It looks really nice in the pictures on this video, but believe me, video does not do this item justice. Now, I have fully covered fitting of these Monza caps, and this brass one is no different than fitting an alloy version in at least two 
previous videos, so I'm not going to go into a full blow-by-blow -blow account of fitting. Now, in order to fit it, you will need one of Motone's adapters. And this one adapter will allow you to fit one of these Monza fuel caps to the air-cold and liquid-cold Bonnevilles with just one or two model exclusions. Some of the older BMW motorcycles and Harley Davidson motorcycles and it will also fit the Royal Enfield Classic 500. That is the version with the screwing fuel cap. The adapter does feature a very unique to Merton security feature, which allows you to easily adjust your Monza cap and then securely fasten it in place for security. As far as I'm aware, no other manufacturer offers this. And it all centers around a special thread ring that your Monza cap actually screws onto, which can be loosened off for adjustment and then tightened up for security by means of three tiny stainless steel grub screws, which will lock and unlock that threaded ring. This clever little idea allows you to align your Monza fuel cap and once you've set it, you can just lock it in place. This Monza cap is composed entirely of solid brass, apart from one or two stainless steel components. It is a breathable cap and the sealing plate itself is sprung to ensure that you get a safe, tight seal with an unobtrusive o-ring being used to seal the surfaces between the actual cap itself and the adapter. This cap is pretty much 100% handmade. The casts are hand prepared, the casting process is hand poured, and then the casting itself again is hand prepared, ready for machining of the threads etc. After that assembly is done by hand and it's polished to a gorgeous mirror finish polish by hand resulting in what i think is a very unique classically styled custom motorcycle part we do have manufacturers of course like triumph and royal enfield as well as others making false monza caps which I suppose it is okay for mass production and they do add a sort of aesthetic appeal to certain types of modern classic bikes but in my view you can't beat the real thing especially not the real thing when it's built to this standard and it looks as drop-dead gorgeous as this brass Monza cap. Seriously, you have to see one of these in person to actually appreciate them. This is a piece of motorcycling art that wouldn't look out of place in a glass display cabinet. Now, I've always been a little bit mystified as to which way round these should go. I like the hinge to be at the front of the bike so that when I open it up, it's easy to actually fill the bike up with petrol. It just seems to make more sense that way, although I've noticed with a lot of the false ones that manufacturers put on bikes, they have the hinge to the back nearer to the seat, although I don't suppose that really matters with the false ones because they don't actually open. Either way, I suppose the direction that you fit it is entirely down to you, and it actually looks fantastic either way. Now, I never discuss the price of products on this channel, but I am expecting this particular Monza cap to be substantially more expensive than the standard versions, which when you look at it isn't surprising, and I will leave a link in the video description down below. Don't forget though, viewers of this channel do get an exclusive 15% discount on all Motown purchases using the discount code that I will also leave in the video description. As I've said, as far as I'm aware, there are only nine of these caps available which have been specifically made to cater for requests from certain people. And it's nice to see that Motown are willing to put themselves out in this way, you know, just to cater for the wants of a minority. Right, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell in order to receive updates of any new videos that I've released. I will, of course, be back on Friday. So until then, please ride safely and I'll see you soon.